Atkins is honored to have been given the opportunity to participate in this most prestigious of design challenges for the expansion of the Holy Mosque. Every day, 1.5 billion faithful turn towards the holy city and focus their prayers on the Haram Mosque and the Kaaba. With the number of pilgrims to Mecca increasing every year, designing for such large numbers presents a series of key challenges, in particular those of visibility, capacity and movement. King Abdullah of Saudi Arabia, the custodian of the Holy Mosque, has embraced this opportunity to address the challenge of improving the facilities for millions of future pilgrims. The Atkins team has been inspired by this challenge and has addressed each of the key issues. We understand that visibility of the Kaaba is not strictly necessary but we believe that it would be desirable for as many worshippers as possible. To this end, the column grid and sight lines from the upper prayer hall have been designed to offer the best view of the Kaaba. Movement has been greatly improved with 60% of the prayer space in shade and easy access to the Kaaba through the new Grand Mosque doors. Atkins recognizes the historical significance of the existing gateways of the mosque and subsequently these are retained in this proposal. The sculptural form of our proposal draws its inspiration from the origins of Islamic architecture and the traditional form of the Islamic pointed arch. The simple form is rotated around its section and a segment of the resultant shape becomes the new prayer hall shells, the largest of which stands 80 meters high. These shells then multiply and reduce in size towards the cab, following the sight lines of the upper prayer deck. Each prayer hall is then repeated on a radial grid to create the whole form of phase one. These prayer halls, along with the adjacent plazas, increase the capacity to almost two million, providing areas of shaded worship space, all of which have a view of the Kaaba. The form of the prayer halls could be said to resemble worshippers in prayer. To accommodate the range of numbers attending the mosque throughout the year, 38 meter high doors are located at the perimeter of the new Grand Mosque. These doors, when shut, enclose the space surrounding the Kaaba to effectively reduce the scale of the space during quieter periods of the religious calendar. During Ramadan and Hajj, these doors will be open to accommodate the larger numbers of attendees and to provide views from the new prayer halls. The scale and dynamic nature of the grand doors is unique in the world. They effectively define the outer perimeter of the mosque, allowing washrooms, health facilities and servicing arrangements to be accommodated within the new extension, ensuring higher standards of safety and comfort. The upper prayer halls have floors that are stepped to allow clear visibility of the Kaaba and due to their arrangement and form provide areas for quieter contemplation away from the main plaza below. The steps have been carefully designed to allow for ease of movement and are sufficiently deep to be functional for prayer. These upper levels are primarily accessed over bridges from the hillside terraces and by ranks of escalators arranged between the new prayer hall's main structure. By accessing the new extension from the hillside, the crowd is effectively separated from those using the lower plaza. This improves ease of movement and crowd safety.
A further feature of this proposal is the innovative use of the prayer hall structure shells to act as thermal engines that effectively pull cool air from a lower basement and through the prayer hall slabs to keep them cooled and enhance the comfort of worshippers. Atkins is proposing a phased construction of the mosque expansion so as to minimize disruption to the functioning of the existing mosque and its surroundings. The new extension can be built without touching the existing mosque. Once it is finished, the walls and floors of the mosque facing the new extension can be removed and the grand doors installed. The Ottoman Arcade could be left in place, but it would severely restrict the view of the Kaaba from the new prayer halls. We are therefore suggesting that it should be carefully taken down and reconstructed on the hills behind the terraces. The reconstructed Arcade will become an additional worship space and due to its relevant historic origins will be closely associated with the existing mosque and Kaaba. The capacity of the mosque is significantly enhanced by the addition of the Phase 1 prayer halls. And though this extension has been designed as a standalone contemporary Islamic building, it could in the future be extended by repeating the same form so as to complete the circle and create a new grand mosque accommodating up to 5 million worshippers. a truly fitting center for the Islamic world.